Fallon and today's video is all about the oh, diaper pale smell. Diaper pale, I can't say it. <laughs> the diaper pale smell. And if you're a mom or a dad, you know what I'm talking about. When you get those dirty diapers in there, who it smells. <laughs> it can get nasty. So this is all how to, my tips of how to get rid of that diaper pail, diaper, if I can say it, diaper pail smell and to keep it more fresh and better. So let's hop on into it. My tip number one is, it might seem a little extreme. This is something I did not do with my daughter and I did it, now I'm doing it with my son and it makes a world of difference but get like those little doggy poo bags or they have actual little diaper bags and put poopy diapers in there, tie it up and then put it in your diaper pail. It honestly makes a world of difference in keeping your diaper pail smelling fresh. Number two is to clean your diaper pail frequently with baking soda and vinegar. You get a little scrub going in there and scrub it out. I do it, I try to do it after every bag change. That doesn't always happen, but at least every other bag change. My tip number three is, it goes along with another tip. So I kind of have the tip number three is my lazy version, and then I have another more in-depth tip. But sprinkle baking soda at the bottom of your diaper pail when you change the bag um, to keep it smelling fresh. My tip number four is the more in-depth version of that where you take, and I'll insert a clip, but you take a coffee filter, you put baking soda in it, you put essential oil in it, whatever smell you want, and you tie it and then put it at the bottom of your diaper pail. and it helps deodorize. Uh, the one thing with that is really make sure if your kid's crawling around or toddler that they're not gonna knock over the diaper pail or get into the diaper pail, which gross anyways, but they're not gonna get in there and get the baking soda. My tip number five is to randomly put dryer sheets in as you're putting the diapers in. So like when you first change the bag, put a dryer sheet in the bag, do a couple diapers, put another dryer sheet in there just to keep it fresh. <laughs> It does help just a little bit. It's not, you know, an extreme difference, but it does help. Tip number six is for when it's really smelling bad. I know you can hear my baby. He's being a bugger right now. It's for when it's really just smelling awful. You need to open it up, take it outside, and let it get some sunlight and some fresh air. Just air it out. That will help so much. Sun's Sunlight and fresh air really helps deodorize things. Lastly, my tip number seven is to make sure you are changing it often. That is so important. I know it's a no-brainer, but sometimes we let the diaper pail get a little too full. Those diapers have sat in there a little too long. I am so guilty of that, but remember to change it often because once those diapers are sitting in there, that gets so gross. Those are my tips for keeping your diaper to pail. One day I'll learn how to say that. Those are my tips for keeping your diaper pail fresh and I will see you guys next time. Bye.